My name is Dmitry. I represent Sico Alliance. I hope it will be a short uh, introduction about migration again. So it, uh, we talk a lot about migration uh, these days. It's uh, a little bit specific uh, because we will focus on uh, first its cross-platform migration to MySQL and its uh, queries and procedural SQL, right? So uh, also uh, SQL looks uh, similar in all databases. So when you approach a migration project, you're you see a lot of issues, right? So uh, built-in functions, some expressions, uh, at, uh, you can see it in every, <coughs> almost every query, right? And uh, if you migrate from legacy enterprise databases, as I will mention today, so you have to deal with a lot of storage procedures, user-defined functions, triggers, uh, a lot of stuff is uh, written in, located in SQL scripts that you need to migrate because they used uh, for, for production jobs and so on. And uh, uh, if we talk about SQL queries and differences like in expressions and functions, if you start looking at stored procedures, yeah, it's completely different. So Oracle PL SQL, uh, SQL Server Transact SQL, Cybers Transact SQL and other languages. So it's, uh, it's not uh, the same like you have in MariaDB and you need to, uh, to migrate. And I uh, just want to emphasize that the problem with uh, these enterprise migrations that we are seeking to migrate to MariaDB uh, is that they tend uh, to use a lot of uh, server-side procedural code. So uh, like seeing like uh, thousands of storage procedures, functions, it's uh, like it's typical for even for small database. So especially for Oracle, SQL Server, as well as for DB2 and other databases. So uh, in MariaDB, uh, we now support uh, Oracle compatibility mode. So uh, some continuities are already supported. I mean, syntax of Oracle supported in MariaDB. Uh, but uh, Oracle PL SQL is uh, huge, right? So it's probably infeasible to support uh, everything. So idea is to use the tool and if you specify like Oracle conversion mode, so it will convert some parts of uh, uh, to Oracle compatibility features and other stuff, it will convert it to MariaDB native features, for example, some built-in functions and so on. So you may have an Oracle package it will be converted to also to, to a package with support and like exception blocks and so on, but uh, some built-in functions may be uh, converted uh, into MariaDB native code. Uh, right now we also support uh, conversion uh, from SQL Server, uh, DB2, uh, all editions including Linux and Windows, uh, Z series and I series, uh, and it could also have some support for very, very legacy like RPG, COBOL, uh, story procedures, some have support. And also uh, quite uh, even more legacy systems like Cybus and Formix uh, also supported. They are still uh, quite uh, widely used. For example, Cybus Adaptive Server is, uh, is very popular like in financial institutions. CyberSQL Anywhere is uh, used uh, by a lot of ISVs companies who just uh, have like own products uh, with some sort of embedded, not embedded, but with some uh, database that internally used by applications. They're seeking of migrating to other platforms, so uh, they migrate and also in, in Formix as well. Yeah. So uh, recently uh, when you approach uh, migration, <coughs> Code migration. So, the first idea that uh, comes to my uh, your mind is uh, because you can use ChatGPT or similar tools. So I, I will call ChatGPT to convert code. And uh, actually, uh, it it works quite well. For for example, if you need if you have like some code snippets uh, and you need to uh, to convert them, so we and for almost any system, you, you can uh, uh, use it for conversion. Of course, uh, 
uh, it requires some refinement, so it requires some expertise. So uh, it, it may, we use it a lot for developing our SQL lines converter, especially when we need, uh, want to analyze some solutions to see what options are available for new features and so on. But uh, it's still hard uh, to use for the entire migration, right? So it's, it's, it's easy to convert code snippets, but not the entire database, right? Because uh, you cannot uh, afford working with some approximate conversions, right? So you need uh, correct, exact conversions, and you, uh, you need some deterministic approach, so uh, you cannot afford that uh, if you apply different models, you, you get different conversions. So if you, if you try different versions, you can get, get different conversions. Of course, it's not, uh, uh, works very well. Uh, but uh, SQL lines is quite similar. It's, it's very simple tool to use by DBAs, developers. So now like any EDS with some UI options and so on. And uh, in, uh, in our projects, so uh, we uh, rely on uh, customizations. So it's not, uh, to be honest, it's not like super magic tools that you can use and it convert any, uh, uh, any code to MariaDB. Of course, it's still, uh, migra migration is still a complex and ch challenging topic. Of course, we, we, uh, we migrate a lot of stuff, but uh, still rely on some customizations and they work very well because uh, even you, if you approach a project like in customers say that we have like uh, 10,000 of storage procedures to migrate, it's not always uh, a very scary numbers because uh, uh, within a, a single project, so uh, procedures are typically written in, in the same style uh, using this, the, uh, the same coding approach. So it sometimes look like just copy pasted and with different uh, logic changes. So it's, uh, it's, it's quite easy to achieve a very, very good automation with some customizations that uh, uh, we, we do for ongoing projects that we already did for, for many customers. Uh, our approach with this tool is uh, uh, just preserve uh, like formatting or all other stuff in, in the original code. Uh, so we can, you can quite easily to review code uh, because sometimes we, uh, Few changes may be required, and it's not good if, if for example, you've given a, a query code review, for code review and everything is changed, but uh, actually just this small function name uh, need to be changed. But as a developer, you need to review everything, and it's, uh, it's a big problem. Uh, we also uh, use uh, as much as possible this native conversion. And actually, uh, a few words about Oracle compatibility mode, it's not like uh, a layer of emulation on top of a native mode. So it's a built-in in, into a MariaDB parser. So it's, it's actually behaves as a native for native implementation. And we also uh, use, use uh, the same approach in our conversion because uh, like some tools, for example, like Amazon database conversion tool can rely on like on emulation, right? So you have like SQL Server database and you migrated it to MariaDB, and it still looks like SQL Server database. A lot of functions created, uh, a lot of emulations to simplify migration, but it uh, brings some huge problems uh, for performance because it relies on, on the unnecessary uh, user-defining functions. And uh, for like native MariaDB developer, it's, uh, it's, it's quite hard to recognize this SQL Server syntax, for example, and continue working with it, right? Uh, anyway, so uh, our mo ma major focus right now is uh, uh, migration testing. So because it's uh, still uh, a huge uh, issue, a huge problem, because uh, you can migrate SQL and you probably even can create procedures, functions in a database successfully, but uh, it's very hard to validate that uh, they bring the same results. So 
uh, today and yesterday there was discussion. So when even you migrate from MySQL to MariaDB or from Percona to MariaDB, so there is some risk that uh, some code can behave differently. But you can imagine what is the risk if you like migrated from Oracle, from SQL Server, DB2 with completely different SQL syntax. And uh, you can expect uh, problems in almost everywhere. Like you can just, uh, example uh, came to my mind. So you can take like substring function substrat. Uh, you can think that what wrong can happen with this function. Uh, but you know that in, uh, for example, in Oracle, it can uh, have negative uh, start parameter and, for example, uh, and start from, from backs that not, almost not supported everywhere. And you and just just one example, right? So in, in simple function, but if you have uh, complex expressions, for example, some some like uh, data arithmetics uh, with complex expressions, so it's of course it's hard, it's hard to validate if it provides the same results that uh, goes through reports and applications and so on. So we are going to focus on our validation or more, no matter uh, which tools are used, SQL lines or maybe manual conversion, chat GPT, so to validate uh, conversion ex expressions from source SQL, target uh, SQL in MariaDB, it, uh, using static approach, so it's a conversion based on uh, knowledge base that we created. So our uh, SQL lines have uh, online conversion tools that, and we have like uh, uh, 100,000 people trying to do conversions that we can uh, collect some some code based on expressions that we are going to use uh, in the testing. And of course, runtime expressions. So it, runtime validation doesn't mean that you just uh, created uh, source procedure and procedure in MariaDB and executed them. Uh, uh, we are going to extract all expressions that uh, some statements and just try to validate and, uh, and show you as many as possible issues that uh, can be discover it or uh, vice versa, we can show that uh, these expressions bring uh, uh, the same results. So uh, because it's very, it's very critical for, for migrations because you can easily migrate uh, and produce some code, but uh, to make sure that it's uh, valid and produce results, it's, it's, it's a completely different uh, story, right? Yeah, so we're going, uh, still working on this. Yeah, and just uh, to finalize, so uh, MariaDB team is going to introduce support for SQL Server compatibility mode. So we're going to also extend this, this tool to, uh, to simplify this conversion. So if new features uh, appear in MariaDB in uh, SQL Server mode, so we'll, the tool will uh, use them. And uh, all other features that are not yet supported will be converted to uh, native MariaDB, like uh, this approach that you're using. Yeah, uh, that's all from my side. And uh, yeah, so just some information about uh, tool in contact. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. If you have any questions, so please ask. Okay, yeah. Could you ask how many have you, how many have you used SQL lines? Okay. Hmm? Well, yeah. They are great tool, and anybody who is uh, in communications will look at it. Thank you.